Hey friends, I have a super cool mini series of sorts. Um, I saw this video on Dina Wakely's Facebook page about how to make a mini art journal out of one sheet of paper. So I'm starting out on a piece of her um, loose leaf um, last release. She had um, packs of the watercolor paper and the craft paper that come in her journals like in loose leaf sets So this is the craft sheet or you could also just cut a sheet out of your um, journal and I have several colors of Dina weekly media paint and then I also added in a teal uh, golden fluid acrylic because my turquoise Dina weekly is sadly pretty much all but gone so I'm just um using a lot of water to get that really watery look and I did put a layer of clear gesso on my sheet of paper before I started applying my paints. So I know it's looking like a hot mess but um, each page is going to be like super tiny so you're only going to see like little portions of it so it looks like a hot mess when it's one sheet but hopefully my hope is that once it's all folded each little tiny sheet will have a little bit of each of the craziness on it and look okay. So I'm taking a um, like mark makey kind of stamp um, also by Dina Wakely and some magenta scribble stick and applying that all over my page. And I just take the scribble stick, um, I spray the stamp once, twice, maybe three times with water um, from pretty far away and then go over the stamp with the scribble stick and um, press the stamp several times into my paper and you get a different look each time depending on how much water is left on the stamp. Um, yeah, so then I did the um, face stencil with some white gesso and then um, this do what we do, what do we do, do what we do. Um, stencil also by Dina Wakely and in retrospect any kind of stamp or stencil that needs to be orientated like in a certain way does not work on this because <laughs> once you fold it you know what what's what's up doesn't turn out to be up like once you fold it the pages aren't necessarily in the same orientation so if I do this again I will keep that in mind but it turns out okay whatever so um, now I'm just folding my sheet to make my book and if you want to see the instructions I will leave a link in the description box down below Dina Wakely explains it perfectly a lot better than I ever could <laughs> So I'm just um, following her instructions here. And if you see me like kind of hesitate, it's because I'm watching her video as I'm doing it. And once I get it all folded, and it really takes like a minute, if that. And once I get it um, all folded, then I'm just going to make sure my edges are creased really well. And then, I'm, then I realized, oh, crap, some of these words are upside down. <laughs> so I'm trying to decide which way I want to orientate my book. Um, which one I want to be my cover because really at this point you can make you can fold it anyway to make uh, any page your cover so I'm also going to add a little bit of washi tape on some of the um, edges that are open you don't have to do this but I thought it added like a little extra cute element to it and I like that it keeps um, the pages like more more together looking. <laughs> so now I'm going to start on the cover um, and I'm just taking one of the new collage faces collage sheets and it's uh, four faces on one sheet so I'm cutting this one face off of my sheet and applying it to white cardstock and then I'm just going to cut that out and um, make it fit on the cover of my book. The reason I backed it with white cardstock is because I really wanted it to stand out. I could have applied it without the cardstock and it would have kind of melted into the background and because I have those bold words back there, um, I really wanted it to stand out. So I'm just going to apply that and if you see um, my first spread, my first pages are done. I didn't go in order. I did the first um, spread and then I did the cover but I thought that didn't really make sense. But 
Um, yeah, so that's what the, the first spread will come tomorrow, hopefully. So yeah, back to the cover. So I just applied that with some clear tacky glue and then I'm gonna edge everything with a little bit of a black ink pad. And then I thought um, I was gonna mirror the stenciling that I did on the background for the whole um, book. And I'm writing with a Posca paint pen. Um, it says spill and write and paint. And then um, the stenciling I did, I just repeated paint and paint and paint and paint. So I wrote that as well. And then I wasn't really crazy about that. So I'm just adding some Tim Holtz words on top of it. And they say, create beautiful inspiration. And I'm just going to edge each of those with the black ink pad as well. It helps it to stand out a little bit. And you can still see what I wrote underneath. So it's just like a cute little design element. And then I'm going to add some lime Dina Wakely acrylic paint splatters. I really love a bright, bold color for splatters. And that's it for my cover of my book. And I will have the first spread tomorrow and hopefully the next spreads after that. I want this to be a little series throughout the week, hopefully. <laughs> So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you created one of these or are going to create one of these, let me know because I think this is a super genius and fun idea. It takes no time at all to make a spread come together. So thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.